An IUD, or intrauterine device, is a form of contraception inserted into the uterus by a midwife or doctor. The IUD is commonly called IUD, but this term is inaccurate because an IUD does not make you sterile. What is that? It is a contraceptive device, most often in the shape of a T, which measures around 3 cm in length. The doctor or midwife inserts it into the uterus. The IUD ends in a string that is cut very short by the doctor or midwife at the time of insertion. It is long enough to allow the doctor or midwife to remove the IUD with small forceps. This piece does not interfere with the partner during sex. How does it work? There are two types of IUD. The copper IUD. It is plastic with one or more copper sleeves. The greater the surface area of copper, the more effective the IUD is because copper makes sperm inactive. The copper IUD comes in two sizes, short and standard. So there is something for all sizes of the uterus. For example, a woman who has never been pregnant, whose uterus is smaller, can perfectly fit a short IUD. The smallest is 2 cm wide and 2.8 cm long. The hormonal IUD. It is also called the intrauterine diffusion system or IUS. It contains a progestin hormone, levonorgestrel which it will deliver in small quantities. This hormone has several effects. A contraceptive effect, it thickens the secretions of the cervix entrance of the uterus. The sperm can no longer pass through. An effect on menstruation. The hormonal IUD can reduce the duration and volume of menstruation as well as the painful contractions that accompany them. Some users do not have periods while they have a hormonal IUD. In these cases, not getting your period is harmless to health or fertility. How do you get an IUD inserted? Whether copper or hormonal, the IUD can be inserted by a gynecologist, a midwife, or a general practitioner. The installation itself is very fast and people under 26 do not need to pay. The copper IUD can be inserted at any time during the cycle. For the hormonal IUD, it is recommended that the insertion takes place in the week following the period. To be sure to avoid pain, it is possible to take painkillers two hours before the installation. Before insertion, the healthcare professional can perform a hysterometry he introduces a graduated rod into the uterus in order to assess the shape, dimensions, and sensitivity of the uterus. After the insertion of an IUD, regular gynecological follow-up is necessary. At least one control visit per year will ensure that it is correctly placed and will allow you to take stock of your gynecological health. The frequency of these checks should be discussed with the healthcare professional. One contraceptive visit per year is fully reimbursed for people under 26. How effective is it? IUDs are very effective, they are about 99% effective. As handling errors do not exist outside the moment of insertion, the effectiveness of this method of contraception does not depend on the user. The copper IUD is effective from the day it is inserted. It is for this reason that it can be used as emergency contraception, in this case, it must be inserted within 5 days after the date of ovulation. The hormonal IUD is effective immediately if inserted within the first 7 days of the cycle. Installation should not normally be carried out outside this period. How is an IUD removed? Depending on the model, the IUD can be kept between 3 and 10 years. A check once a year is to be expected to ensure that it is well positioned. The IUD can be removed at any time, as soon as the woman wishes, by a doctor or a midwife. The healthcare professional will then gently, using small forceps, pull on the string attached to the end of the IUD, which is visible at the entrance to the uterus. It is possible to take painkillers before the removal if you are afraid of having pain. This appointment is free of charge for people under the age of 26. Is the hormonal IUD more effective than the copper IUD? Which one to choose? Both types of IUD are very effective. 
If you have to choose between the two types of IUD, it will be for the comfort it will provide you. So, if you have painful and heavy periods, it will be more comfortable for you to use a hormonal IUD. If you prefer to have a natural cycle and not take any hormones, you can choose the copper IUD. What are the advantages? The advantages are simplicity, comfort, efficiency, duration of use but, also, the absence of hormones if you opt for the copper IUD. The effects on painful and heavy periods if you opt for the hormonal IUD. What are the disadvantages? The copper IUD can make periods last longer. But if your periods are short and scanty, the difference will be imperceptible. The hormonal IUD can cause the same side effects as contraceptives containing progestins, repeated small bleeding or, on the contrary, disappearance of the periods, which is not serious, weight gain, and or acne outbreak. Who cannot use an IUD? For the copper IUD, people. Having a malformation of the uterus, which is rare, or a large fibroid, the IUD cannot be inserted. Those whose cervix, orifice, of the uterus is too wide due to multiple or difficult deliveries, the IUD risks being expelled. Having cancer of the cervix, or endometrium, before treatment. Carriers of an STI, but the IUD can be inserted once the STI has been treated and cleared for more than three months. Having an upper genital infection, of the uterus or fallopian tubes, in progress, recurrent, or dating from less than three months. Having unexplained vaginal bleeding. Having just given birth, it is necessary to wait four weeks after a vaginal delivery. Having had an infection after childbirth or an abortion less than three months ago. Having had genital tuberculosis. With Wilson's disease or copper allergies. For the hormonal IUD. The contraindications are the same as for the copper IUD, see above, but we must add the contraindications linked to the presence of the hormone. People who have phlebitis, embolism will not be able to benefit from it. Lung, breast, endometrial or ovarian cancer, tumor, benign or malignant, of the liver, acute liver disease, acute viral hepatitis. After the insertion of an IUD, regular gynecological follow-up is necessary. At a minimum, a checkup every year will verify that it is correctly placed and will allow you to take stock of your gynecological health. The frequency of these checks should be discussed with the healthcare professional. One contraceptive visit per year is fully reimbursed for people under 26. Who should I contact to have an IUD inserted? To your attending physician. If he himself does not insert IUDs, he can refer you to a gynecologist, a doctor, or a midwife who does. To a gynecologist. To a midwife. Has a family planning and education center.